Hey there, and welcome to my little five minute bite on how to put your design into repeat, but also make sure that you have a standard repeat size um, for your cylinder. So what I'm gonna do is take the crop tool and just crop out the area that I think best repeats of this design. I could at this stage um, set the crop box to be a specific size. If I double click on the crop tool, um, but not all designs um, will be or will have been designed with that repeat in mind. So I'm just going to set the crop box like that. Uh, might go down a little bit actually. There we go. And I'm going to crop that to a new document. And then in the new document, I'm just going to set the repeat two by two. And then using the carbon copy tool, I'm just going to um, clone the repeat joins. So I'm just making that a bit smaller, just do a bit of housework here and rearrange my windows. <laughs> so with the Alt key, I'm just going to set the cross somewhere inside my original file. Doesn't matter where because as soon as I start carbon copying, the cross will jump to that specific area that I'm copying to. So I'm going to start copying here. But I don't actually want to copy from this flower, I want to copy from this flower on the left. So what I'm going to do, as I start copying, you can see the cross has jumped to the top right hand corner, but I actually want to copy from the top left hand corner. So with the arrow tool on my keyboard, the left arrow, I've jumped across to the left hand side. Don't forget that a nice um, transparent brush might be nice for certain designs. And also you can make your brush bigger with number two and smaller with number one. I'm just copying over those joins and then here we can see that these three leaves we don't actually have on the left hand side so with my right arrow on the keyboard I'm going to jump to the right hand side of the crop box and again to the left just to fix this grey leaf here and then I've got my across so don't forget that if your cross does go into the grey area, which it has done in the original file, um, you can use the escape tool, uh, escape key to bring it back, or you can use your arrows as normal. So I don't actually want to copy from it. I'll just do the tip of that leaf there, but then I'm going to go to the top. So use my um, up arrow just to copy in the tip of that flower there. So once I've done that, I can close the original. I'm going to go back to my new file, which now repeats. You might find as well that you maybe want to uh, maybe fill in some of the gaps um, and maybe do a partial image um, of a certain motif. So maybe you want to take this flower here and pick it up. And don't forget, use the origin tool, the shortcut is Z, to place that where you like it. And with the option key, you can proportionally resize. And don't forget that if you want to flip this motif, um, you need to hold down the Alt key. So edit, um, flip horizontal, for example, with the Alt key becomes flip layer horizontal. Just make it look a slightly bit different. And then with the mask here, we can blend that in with the background, just get rid of those bits. And the nice thing about only working on the mask is that if I make a mistake like that, we can paint that back in. So it's a nice way of just blending in images, having a bit more control. So that will do, I think, for now. And then when you're happy, you can activate both the original image and your partial image and fuse those together to flatten it. So if I just go to one repeat at the moment and we go to um, edit resize, we can see now that we've got a repeat size of 37.6 by 67.2. So I'm going to resize this um, in one proportion. So um, I'm going to make the width 32, which then you can see proportionally re uh, changes the height to 56. So if I do, if I want to have 32 by 64 in the end, if I just do this now, so I've made the width 32. And then what I'm going to do is make a crop box to be 32 by 64. 
but I'm not going to have it so that it's centered. I apologize for that. <laughs> like that. So, and then I'm just going to crop that to add that extra information at the bottom of the design. And then if I go to view, guides, snap to repeats, and now set my repeat, what I can do is use maybe the lasso tool to go in and I can select this area and snap to it and then I can just pull that down and because I've made it so that it snaps to um, the repeats it will sort of stick in position there like that so that still works in repeat. And just start to move things around. So that's my repeat join. The repeat join still works here. Maybe I just bring these ones down. like that and then the repeat join still works I've just got to worry about filling in the gaps here but at least I know that the joins work so again we could start to maybe think about taking different motifs and doing pick up and filling in those gaps just flip that around and we can fuse those together. So my one repeat, it does still repeat over the join if I just take away the frame. And my one repeat is now 32 by 64. But what we could do is set the repeat to be two across. And then we could do select all and take the crop tool to do set from selection and then crop on repeat. So now I have a repeat size which is 64 by 64.